Esperance done. Tick that off the list. We're off to Norseman. Um, whether we go a bit further on, I don't know. It's one of those trips now where... Norseman. Norseman. Not Norseman. Norseman. I sound nasally when I say that. Norseman. 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 It's like a horseman. Norseman. Yeah, Norseman. <laughs> I'm always great at names, we know that. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to punch out there today. We're going to go into town first, top up with water and a few different things. Mm -hmm. Been told there's water in Norseman, but... Norseman. Norseman. Um, it sounds a bit iffy on wiki camps from what we've read. Uh, Josh has had a look too and it's a little... I don't know. We don't want to get there and realise we can't get water or it doesn't Apparently look... Apparently one of them you need a really long hose to get to and then someone, a couple of people said the water wasn't that great as well, so... Yeah. So know. for that two hours fully loaded with water, we know it's really good yeah. in Esperance, so we might as well just do it here. Yeah, that's right. So that's the plan. Go Let's there, it. check it out, and then hit the bloody Nullarbor. What the hell? I know. Woo! South Australia. South, South Australia. Australia. It's ridiculous. We're actually changing states. It's been that long. Over a year. Over a year. Yep. Right on. Come on. Let's go. Well, I just thought I'd touch on fuel because I feel like this is a good opportunity to keep track of it and just show you guys exactly what our setup can do. Yeah. Because I know I'm going to get smashed with, smashed with questions from everybody because I'm travelling with another patrol. And how are they running? How? Yeah, because he's got a different setup to what we've got, and it it really does affect mileage and fuel consumption and things. Yeah. So like he's got bigger tyres and chunky tyres that and, straight away can change and a lift. numbers. Yeah, well, there's heaps of stuff going on. He's got a different setup to me, but it's been curious because since we left. As for instance, this morning, I've been averaging, I got to, down to 25.6 just before we filled up. Uh, just recently now, we've just left the servo again and I've reset the At Balladonia. Balladonia, sorry. Uh, and I've just reset it again now. So I'm curious to see if it comes all the way back down again uh, because the wind's actually been really good today because that's another contributing factor as well. Um, if, you've got a, if you've got a really I don't know, blowing day, like there's so much wind around and it's blowing as a headwind, you will choose so much more fuel first wind behind you giving a yeah. tailwind and pushes you along. So today's been really good considering that today was meant to be a pretty average day and tomorrow's meant to be the day. Uh, we've smashed it a few miles today and fuel's been really good. Yeah, this is our big thing too. We didn't really want to go when the wind was wrong because if you go when the wind is wrong, then you end up spending twice as much as you need on fuel let alone if you make it to the next station, especially if there's a headwind. Oh yeah. Oh okay, yeah, you haven't told any numbers yet, let's go. Yeah, so numbers, basically at the moment, I've started off at 27.7 just as I've left here. I know I was averaging that when I left Esperance, but then it got down to about 26.5, and then just before I filled up, it got to 25.6. So it's only gotten better and better and better as the, as the day's gone on. Yeah. And I've just filled up it again now, and I'm going to see how this travels to show you what it can do. Because when I asked Josh, I'm comparing myself with him because it's a good little indicator to show you guys how different the setup can be. He showed me he put 10 more liters into the car when he finished clicking. Like I like to fill it until I can see it coming out the nozzle, and he's the same. So we filled it right to the same point. So yeah, he's used more fuel, and his average is higher. So that can come down to tyres, it can be the height of the van, it can be all sorts of different things. But yeah. it just goes to show we're very similar setup, weight wise, but there's little fundamentals that are different that's obviously making a big difference when it comes yeah. to fuel consumption. Um, one more question, what speed are you travelling at? Uh, we've been averaging about 90 to 95. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we're granddad speeding it too. Yeah, just cruising. Yep. Happy days. Yep. Sweet. Love you, Jack. Love you, Jack. Who else do you say love you to? Say Jack. Love you, 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 Jack. Thank you. We made it! Holy hell, we're here! We're at the sign. Oh, look, the camera's on your face. Oh, Jesus, that sun yeah. is like right there in front of you. <laughs> it was covering you before like this. <laughs> oh. That is so cool. I've seen this sign so much on the on the socials and stuff, and people doing shots and poses and stuff, but 
don't know, it was like when we started the Gib, like to get that iconic shot out the front of the, you know, the start of the yeah. Gib with the big sign. This is exactly the same thing, but this is a big one. This is yeah. a huge one. So we're going to go start the straight. We're not going too far down. We're going to go find a free camp that's just down the road. It's yeah. about 5.30 at night and then we'll continue it in the morning. Yeah, we're going to hit it hard tomorrow. We're going to go as far as we possibly can. Ah! With that right there behind me, it's the last WA sunset we're going to see. It's a shame that it's not over some water or something pristine to see us out, but still pretty bloody nice. We just found our first little free camp. I'll have to find out what the name of it is, and we'll put it in the description below. Sean might even put a little wiki camps thing here just for you to show you. But um, yeah, it's far enough to off the highway. Uh, the trucks have gone past. It's not too bad. We've come done a few of them now, and they just you get used to it. It's not too bad. Um, it's only for the night, basically, too. We've had a pretty big day today. I think it was 480-something kilometres we've done, and it's a bit over six hours. So we've done a pretty big day, considering we left Esperance roughly around 10 o'clock uh, this morning. So it's done pretty well. What's the matter, mate? I'm You what? Dad. You want to go outside? Yeah. Come on. Any time today. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so yeah, big day. It's been really good. Oh, good morning. I've still got my morning face on this morning. We are up. What is it? I think we all do. It's 6.30. It's probably the earliest we've woken up for a long time, but for very good reason. I think we're a little bit excited this morning because uh, yeah. we're in the Nullar Ball still, Nullar. as you know. Nullar Ball. Yeah. Nullar Ball. Yeah, don't do that. <clears throat> and the, today is the, the goal is to get over that SA border today. So very, very excited about that. If you can see behind me, or Jada, I've got a ton of fruit. So, because of SA, you can't take fruit across the border and... Fre fresh fruit, the onions had to be top and tailed. Avocados. Avocados. We've got tomatoes. Av tomatoes. So it's not too bad, but it's it sucks because we went and bought a whole heap of fruit mm. just the other day. And totally didn't even think about it. Until um, Michaela from Travelling Campus said, I don't think you can take it over the border. I was like, oh. Yeah, so we rechecked the... Eat the crap out of it. Yeah, we rechecked re -check the oh. rules uh, just to make sure. And yeah, pretty much all this <laughs> has to go before the border. So I decided to do a fruit salad. Just seems more practical to have it all chopped up because it's more appealing and a bit more... I know the kids would love it a bit more. So it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to have a huge snack bag. <laughs> Of fruit so when they're hungry they can just mung on as much as they want hopefully they'll get through most of it and then we'll hopefully throw what we have left out before we get to the border hello fruit van i'd like some fruit please oh, good morning is this a local fruit store yes yeah, so i've got plums apples lemons or limes available <laughs> <laughs> i'll have the lot thanks <laughs> far out so much fruit you still got all the bags down here of stuff to take the kids. You want one more plum? Sure. Okay, there you go. I might smash those. Do you want one more? <laughs> How many? Is <laughs> That's that it? it? Yeah. Holy Jesus. Fruit for days. Definitely one of the more uh, healthier breakfasts we've ever had in the morning. <laughs> I've never seen so much fruit come out of our van all at once. Oh, hang on. Wait. Hang on, hang on. Wait. Here comes the fruit stall again. <laughs> What else? What do we have? Here's a bag. Holy Jesus. <laughs> There's Jadis and Jacks. Oh my God. <laughs> How crazy is that? Hey. Thanks. Thanks, SA. 
right, making us so productive. Wait, right. there's oh, he, more. He got more. No, no. <laughs> oh wow! I was like, no way. I'm sure that was it. But anyway, yeah, we're loading up. We're out. Cars are started. Shana's just finishing off a couple of things. Because it's impossible to do anything with kids. Yeah. Oh man, I got to put the kids in the car just to make sure everything's bloody right. But I'll just quickly, that tailwind that we'll talk about for the Monday. Yeah, it's coming through. I tell you what, we went to sleep last night with the wind coming in from the east through the van, and we've woken up with it coming through the west. Incredible. Like, they've predicted it just perfect. So today's going to be absolutely amazing towing. It's going to be pushing us along. We'll save a heap of fuel. It's going to be like the perfect conditions. So very excited about that. You don't really know what it's going to do until you bloody see it sometimes, like the weather. So unpredictable, but it's bang on today. So happy. Okay. I'm supposed to go through the door, mate. Okay, you gotta hold my hands. There's a big hole in the ground, see? Whoa, Jada, don't get any closer. Oh, wow, it's big. Oh, my goodness, it just keeps going. What are you looking at? Is there any more? Oh, 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 oh. What is it? Mama, oh. Is there any in there? I can't see them. Show me on the front tire. You point them out over here. Look, come over here, Jack. He was alive. Was he? Yeah. Wow. His wing's a bit crooked. Yeah. Oh, he can jump though. So as we were driving along before, there was just heaps and heaps of grasshoppers like all over the road. So we were watching them completely like annihilate Josh and Michaela's car. It's actually not that bad though. They've just got it in their front rims. And um, we've got a few in ours, but nowhere near as much. So sometimes it pays to be the second car, I guess. So what's that cave called? It is the... Bear with us. <laughs> Mara L. Evelyn Cave. I think you did probably better than what I was going to say. Yeah, and that's why, I, <laughs> that's why I was like, just let me go get it because I can't remember. Oh, geez. That's so, actually really cool. It's yeah. not that far off the road. It's a little bit of a dirt track. Anybody can get in here. You don't need an off road van or anything. Yeah, anyone could do this. Literally, just the simplest setup could get in here. Um, but yeah, very interesting. It's, um, it's kind of scary, really, yeah. isn't it? Because where you park, if you go and have a look at the cave and look back towards the, the car park area where you pull up, you're technically above the hole. Like yeah. the cavity goes like on an angle and the caravan, like where you park a caravan and your cars and stuff is right above it. You kind of first see it and you're like, oh yeah, it's just a hole. But then as you and walk it around, it like goes right under and behind. Yeah. It's like, oh. 
I wait for the day you hear the news of someone or something giving out there. Yeah. And they have to keep moving the, the park up area a bit further away. <laughs> but anyway, mm. come and check out the cave if you come past. I I'd, I'd yeah. definitely recommend it. It's actually pretty cool. It's a good spot. Um, back on the road now. Look, there's a dip in the road here, like a round shaped one. Ooh, yeah. Like maybe there's one there. Hey, like it, it just could appear from anywhere. That if was just happening basically there, a sinkhole once, like. Yeah, it's a bit a bit scary and sketchy when you start thinking about it when too much. When you process it. Yeah. Mm. All right, we'll yeah. touch base on the next stop, wherever that is. I think we've got another cave in mind, but it's about another 100 kilometers up the road, so we'll see yeah. you there. Yeah, we'll have a look up there and yeah, we'll keep you updated. There we go. Our next stretch is about 395 kilometers. 490 to Sedona. It's on the thing back there. Was that the next stop? To Sedona. Yeah, the next town. No, but the next field. Oh, I don't know about the I'm next field. Sure Sorry. Is 395. Don't worry. Okay. So it's a fair, it's a fair slog to get to the next fuel. Yeah. So we've got to be quite conservative. We're going really well with fuel, to be honest. It's been yeah. really good. Uh, we've had a, a lot of different changes. The thing about driving for such a long period of time, you see and experience so many different things. We've gone through cold, cold climates to stupid hot just getting here, but mm -hmm. I feel like we're following a heat wave because tomorrow's temps are meant to be like half of what they are today. I think the ambient temperature here was 50 degrees, like it's hot. I've just been told too, just before we got into Eucla, there was a caravan going past and he got us on the two-way and he said, I hope you're not fueling up at the, uh, the roadhouse just before the border because there's a, a truck out the front. In Border Village. On Border Village on fire. On an outback highway, road trains erupt. A fireball engulfing trucks parked on the SAWA border. Four trucks carrying vehicles and perishables were destroyed. Drivers waiting hours for a so-called rapid test forced to flee their burning rigs. A lone firefighter, the first to respond. His efforts helping drivers and passers-by escape with their lives. Apparently the fires are onto it, they're all getting it sorted and done, but there's a few people saying it might be, the highway might be closed down and shut for it. Could take a few hours to clean up or we might be able to get around. So it's literally it's, right before the border. In saying that though, it's so remote. It's not really the sort of place where you want to hold people up. So I yeah. don't know. I don't know. It's like of all things, we're that, like literally that close now to the border. But less than 10 k's away. And then that happens. You just, you can't plan things sometimes, eh? Hey, but. I hope drivers are okay. Fingers crossed, yeah. Hope everyone's all good and there's no one that's really had a bad casualty there because that's not good at all. Maybe just turn that, oh, you've done that. Windows up, child log on so Jack doesn't bloody fill us with toxic fumes. Did you see that? Oh, wow, it's literally the check in. Far out. Wow. What a place to go up in flames. Holy hell. I wonder what's in the truck. Like, I wonder. There's like a truck no, like right next, next to it. Though. Yeah. Coming in and checking in. So it can't be that bad. Oh, it might just be what's left of it. Our, then, yeah. uh, no. No, it'd be like, keep moving, keep moving, get that GoPro sorted, make sure we get the photo. Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Where's the sign? Look! South Australia! This is a good quick photo. Oh, wow. Look at it. <laughs> There's nothing left of it. That's full on. He's literally right next to it. Observe time zone change. Holy hell, it's all happening here! Stop from in a flight. Yep. Yeah. Hello, Wally. Wow. Welcome to SA. Babe, we've got a camera here. <laughs> That's crazy. You could talk to that one. Yeah. He's got two cameras, he doesn't do. even know what he's doing. He's like, oh my god, I'm crossing a border. Mama, I hope this is not a, uh, a sign for SA. <laughs> 
It's gonna be it's gonna an absolute disaster. <laughs> yeah, Hi. good mate. Having a, to the excitement. Yeah, oh. I was gonna say, welcome to Australia. Welcome to yeah. South Australia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're just gonna follow these guys. They're just getting us straight through there. Yeah. Be careful, just in case someone comes on your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. are bringing trucks and that. Yeah, your side okay. Of the road. No, okay. All good. So I just continue on past there. This is shut. Yep. Uh, and you guys know about the fruit and veg stuff? Yeah. Yeah, Sajuna, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Make sure it's, you've gotten rid of it by the time you get to Sajuna. Yeah. I've yep. heard they infringe you if you yep. have it. Uh, okay. Because okay. they've given you 500Ks in South Australia yeah. to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair call, cool. yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's your easy Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Can you go get it again? You want a GoPro this baby out the window, please? Yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, she's hot. You can feel the heat, eh? That's oh. just the look at the too. Look at the fire, Jack. Wow. That's crazy. Is, no, oh, two trucks. Oh. Look, two trucks. Yeah, he's saying keep coming. Oh, he just oh, said stop. No, he's going. Oh, he's really, going like a, yeah, oh. a really open hand. Mommy, he needs to work mommy. on his directional hands. Yeah, I reckon. Maybe had Yay, we oh, crossed the border. There's someone there. You Where? That? That's the one everyone gets their photo in front of. Which one? The one right there with the three f***ing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're in South Australia. Oh my God. Well, here it is. The famous sign that everyone sees as they come oh. into South of Bloody Australia. Yeah. Can you believe it? We're actually here. It's funny because we're standing here doing the touristy thing and then literally... Turn it around. <laughs> Over there, there's a truck on fire. <laughs> what a way to come crazy. into a new state. It's definitely uh, had its ups and downs and it's been a big old trip, but we've made it. We've still got a long way to go to get to Sejuna before we yeah. get out the other end. But 500 Ks. 500 Ks, but that's nothing compared to what we've just done. Yeah. But uh, insane. How good's that? Another Where border. Is Australia? We're in another border. Like, what the hell? Another border, another state. We've gone over a border, yes. It's like exciting. Wow. But anyway, there you go. Look South at the Australia. Flies. I know. I don't know. They must. There's they're something about me. You from WA. Yeah, they probably are. I was saying to Chris, I reckon his pheromones must just be really fly friendly or something, and they're like, mm, <laughs> "Let me smell you." Jesus, Does they're that like mean out that of I'm control. A fly? Am I a fly then? So look at that. So attracted to you. You got no flies around you. No, if I say here. Hey. Okay. I got one. I got like 25 on me. Plus, it's ridiculous. It just stinks. You there just you can't go. see that from the other side of the camera. Just caravan life. I've had a no. shower in about four days. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, I had one the Not other day. Even that bad. The other day. The other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Start it up. If you can see what I can see, but there are hundreds of thousands of grasshoppers. Well, I don't know what they are, they're like grasshoppers, but they're like pure yellow. Holy hell, I'm getting smashed in the face. Like, look at them all. They are seriously everywhere. Look at them go. <laughs> you can't even open a window or a door or anything because they will just fly into any hole you open up. 
I am blown away. They are everywhere along here. You get little waves of them as you're going through the road or going on the road. But then <laughs> you get to places like this and... <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> There's so many! What the hell, Jack? Jack just woke up, so... Look, he's on the microphone. Oh no, he's getting in. Wow! Oh, Jack's gonna pee. I've got to try and get in the van without getting in with the crickets. Seriously, the, like... It's like 46 degrees. It's blowing at about 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, I feel that wind coming through now. Yeah, there's, it's pretty cool. There's grasshoppers everywhere, and then on top of that, you got flies. Like, honestly, it's probably the worst experience to be in one of the most beautiful, spectacular places. It's I'm just incredible. Need help. You hold this door. Yeah. And then shut me in real quick. I'm gonna change his bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep everything out. Yeah. Right, any help? Stand there. It is so windy. Honestly, like you couldn't stay here. Someone, someone's just over the back there behind a dune. If you really wanted to, you could. But we're we're at the point. My God. That wind is pumping underneath that caravan right now. Like we're at the point where we're just gonna keep going. We've pulled it into a couple of spots now and it keeps getting the same response. It's just the same thing all the way along here. You'd literally just pull up, turn your aircon on, and just sit in the van until the next day. That's literally how it'd be. Oh, man, it is full on. Absolutely full on. Hello. One cold beer, please. Okay. That would be ten dollars. What if I want it cold? Yeah, it'll come in the These fridge. These look a bit warm. I was hoping for something yeah, a bit cold. Yeah, they'll come in the fridge. Oh yeah, any extra? Same price? No. What? It's the same price. Same price. Fantastic. Here you go. Thank you so much. We put them in glasses and pour them into cups. Fantastic. And then blah 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 blah. What's the chef cooking in the back? Excuse me, chef. What's on the menu? No, oh my. Can I grab that sandwich there? Oh, the big toaster. Are you gonna toast it for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Good man. You need a pay rise. You're doing a good job. Hey. Oh, thank you so much. You want much. ice with it? No, it's cold. I don't need ice. Cheers. How crazy is to think that this used to be the roadhouse? This was it. One pump. Insane. I understand that uh, a l there's a lot more cars and people and population at the moment, but back in the day, one pump probably would have done everything. But these days, there's, <laughs> there's probably about six, I think, up there at the moment. Pretty cool. You see this place a lot on the socials and people taking photos of it. It's like almost surreal just to even be here and check it out. It's exactly what you kind of expect. There's almost nothing here. It is so flat and just like proper desert. But the wind's still kicking around. We found a little gravel pit just out the back of the the service station here. So we'll go and show you that a little bit later. We're gonna go set up there shortly. We just bought something from the roadhouse. We got told that uh, they do some killer burgers. So there's a 200 gram beef patty that goes onto a burger, 24 bucks. <sighs> like we talked about it and we talked about it and we talked about it and it got to the point where I just, that was all I was getting. That I just didn't want to cook, didn't want to do anything this afternoon, but just walk into a big old fat burger. So that's what's happening. That's why we're here. And we'll cruise out there and we'll show you because we've still got about three hours worth of sun. <laughs> I can't believe that. It's like quarter to seven, I think by now. That's quarter to seven. Like. Look how bright it is. You'd think it'd be like three o'clock at the moment with the amount of sun that's out. So it's gonna be uh, taking a little while to get used to and adjust to this time zone. The kids are doing pretty well. Jack had a bit of a screaming session in the back of the car earlier. But um, I'm ho oh, he's, he's good now because he's out of car. I think that was more because he's just been in the car all day. We've been in the car for about eight hours plus, I think now, even longer. So um, it'd be good for him to get up get out there, get running around, 
try and wear them out a little bit more because it's going to be hard putting them to sleep with a heap of sun there. <laughs> oh. So three days, done pretty well considering we've done a fair, fair amount in the last two days which has been really really cool. Um, plenty of fuel stops, I'll go through all the details towards the end and what we've done and where we've been and yeah just do like a real recap for you but so far it's been a really good trip. Um, it's just a shame about the cliff sides at the moment obviously as you know there's like bug central flies the wind is out of control it's just not worth staying which is a real shame because it's so beautiful there and i i can see the potential but we just won't be able to experience it which is it is what it is again but we're here we're we're enjoying what we're doing and really having a good time well we're on our way again this morning it's been a full-on three days today we've got another sort of Three, three, <laughs> three. You can't see you. It's fine. I'm standing I'm here for. To a, shut the door because I've like pinned it back. I'm sitting here, standing here for a reason because directly behind me is Sean sitting on the toilet. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, oh. here's me just throwing the GoPro out and having a good old mix of bloody avocados while Sean's probably making her own guac. No, we? <laughs> oh, that's all right then. <laughs> so basically, this morning we're just going to make a big old guac. We've got about four avocados. I don't like throwing away anything, especially avocados because they're very sacred. We we're, love our avocado. We lived on fruit yesterday. Yeah, we literally. Well, you've seen. I chopped everything up possible. We got it, through it in about. We ate all of it. Yeah, the whole lot went. It was. We actually did it quite well. It was quite quick. We literally just ate fruit yesterday. I don't think I heard one thing come from the back seat of, mm, I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Because it was just food everywhere. It was actually really nice. We're probably going to go. Oh no, they got those salt lakes and stuff just before Sejuna today. Preston? I think it was. No. No, Penong. Or Penong. Something. Penong. So I might go check them out and then get to Sejuna, top up, get a few supplies, and then. There's something before Sejuna as well pretty beach I can't remember right now but basically we have no plans no idea what we're doing so uh, stay tuned for whatever that might be because I have no idea yet and I kind of like it we're in a brand new state we have nothing planned <laughs> he's got nothing to talk about no literally I'm just wow. yeah giving you a bit of a, a rundown on how we're going and what we're doing Chris never knew how to make this guacamole until this morning I told him my recipe <laughs> this is this is normally a me thing.